Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to review the new Ski Mousetrap. This has a clever new design that I haven't seen before. This trap's made in New Zealand. It advertises as being the safer, cleaner solution. It kills every time, easy to use with no mess. You don't have to worry about snapping fingers and no poison. The way this works is these are 10 really powerful green rubber bands. There's a little picture here of a rubber band around the mouse's neck. So let's open it up and see how it works. Here's what the new Ski Mousetrap looks like out of the box. This package came with 10 of these disposable kill rings, which is really just a thick rubber band that's designed for this trap. You can buy additional rings as needed, they're sold separately. The trap itself comes in two parts. There's this black safety chamber and the clear plastic trap. The clear plastic trap slides out of the safety chamber and you see a little compartment here for bait. That's where you put your little peanut butter. And the safety chamber basically just holds it in place. It has a tunnel for the mouse to enter and actually come into the trap. The trap is uh, basically this cone shaped clear piece of plastic and the way it works is you have an area here where you can slide that kill band on and then run it down the length of the trap. Now you want to make sure that this little lever here is down as you slide the band over and if you can see on the end there's a little groove for that band and a little hook there to hold the band in place right on the end. You want to put your finger right on the end of that uh, lever as you slide that over because it's going to have some tension and want to come up as you can see right there. You can latch it in place with the little uh, set trigger, which is right there, and now this trap is all set. The mice comes through the safety chamber tunnel into the actual trap. There's a little trigger lever there, and when he puts his head through to get that peanut butter, it flips that lever up and has a really powerful rubber band right around its neck. You quickly see just how powerful these little rubber bands are. The tip of my finger quickly loses color as the blood supply is cut off. This is very good as acting as a tourniquet, so I'm gonna take it off there. But yeah, wow, that has a lot of power and it should kill the mice very quickly. Now I'm familiar with these from growing up on a farm. We've used these thick rubber bands before and uh, I'll go show you just how effective these rubber bands can be at cutting off the blood supply. So here's our familiar little green rubber band. This is a tool that we use on the farm pretty often. You put the rubber band on there and you can open it up, open that band up and then close it again. What these are is castration rings. This comes in a pack of a hundred and these are for castrating goats. We have three little boy goats here that need to be castrated so we're going to put these rubber bands on and then over time the circulation is going to cut off, that tissue is going to die and those testicles are going to fall off. So let me show you how we castrate goats. Now that you've seen what these bands are capable of, let's put it on the mouse trap and test it out. Let's load it up again. You just put the band there on the end of the trap. Roll it down the length of that cone on the end. Make sure the lever's down. And make sure it's set. Very easy. Now we're going to put it in our safety chamber here. This just slides in right like that. Locks into place. And we're ready to set this by a wall or a corner for that mouse to enter and have that band placed around its neck. Uh, the only way to really test these out is to set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see how it interacts with real mice. So let's go set this up and uh, just see how effective it is. Last night we caught a mouse in our new ski rubber band mouse trap. That band came down right behind the head, choked that mouse and killed it very quickly. The biggest downfall with this trap that some people may not like is that it doesn't instantly kill it. The mouse flops around on the floor a little bit so you'll find this mouse a couple feet away from the trap. That way you don't have to remove it from the trap, you just pick it up and throw it in the garbage. But some people might not like that the mouse flops around a little bit. Also you have to buy new rubber bands when you want to set this and you run out. Most people aren't going to take off the rubber bands off the dead mice and reuse them. Overall, this trap is very good at killing mice. It's a clever design, and some people might really enjoy trying out the new ski mouse trap.